Hi everybody, this is Tithi Readings and hi Taurus. Let's see what messages will show up for you. What do we have for Taurus? Taurus, um, in case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out, it'll be linked below. Let's start with your guided message. <clears throat> What do we have for Taurus? <clears throat> Conclusions are within reach and the answers you need are coming. There's something that's going to be clarified for you or something that is going to be most probably um, revealed to you. Okay. Somebody may even communicate with you, okay, to clarify things. There could also be a female friend, okay, who will come up. Or could be anybody though, but I do see somebody coming towards you. Now, another thing that I see here is that there's something that is on the horizon for you. Okay. With the with that energy. It's like something is going to be revealed. <clears throat> Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Damn. Um, <laughs> there is an expression of love here, but Spirit is telling you to keep your eyes open. Okay. <sighs> it's like an energy of getting swayed in something. Because with the conclusions are within reach, there's something that is just about to show up for you. It is just right there on the horizon. Okay, whatever it is. <clears throat> show me more for Taurus. Show me more for Taurus, please. What are the messages for Taurus? I see options in love for you, but I, I also feel like you're going to be detached. Oh my God. Okay. There is a divine counterpart energy, King and the Queen of Swords. Okay. Ooh. How many people are involved here? I mean, look at this, Taurus. There are just too many court cards on the table. <clears throat> For some of you, there's literally options in love for you or like your energy right now. There are so many people surrounding you, okay? 
Money is looking really good for you. There could be a money related decision as well that I see you making. Bottom of the deck is Justice, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. Somebody also will uh, come back around to fix things with you. This looks like a past person. Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, Justice. There could also be something legal uh, that will go in your favor. So watch out for that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's have a look. What's the King of Swords? You're holding back from something. I feel like a lot of you have had also some form of a tough ending when it comes to love. So you're holding back your emotions right now. You're thinking from your logic, okay? You're thinking from the mind. You're trying to not let the <clears throat> emotions get in the way, which is fine, of course. You're holding back from something. Some of you could also be avoiding an, uh, a fire sign. Here's the Sag. Um, I'm hearing I've got a bigger plan. So it's like a lot of you're in this energy where you're unwilling to focus on trivial matters and trivial things. It's like, this is not worth my time and energy. I'm not really going to give into it. So a lot of you are picky with your why right now, which is of course fine. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Show me more for Taurus. What's the Two of Pentacles? Your challenge here is indecision about something. Um, tower. Okay, so I feel like you have a choice here. On one side is something that makes you genuinely happy, makes you feel enlightened. On, on the other side, you, it could be a connection, it could be anything like a friendship even. But that tends to drain you, okay? So it's like a choice that you have to make between your happiness and something that's just like dragging, honestly. finding your nine of cups this is really about your happiness your own happiness you know a very nine of cups is also a very self-fulfilling energy okay <clears throat> what's the seven of cups to the emperor seven of swords um now there is definitely there could be more than one person coming your way i'm just telling you this is like a lot of energy around you, <laughs> okay? So brace yourself for this. Because I feel like in the past, there also has been some form of betrayal surrounding a person. You know, for some of you, you were also a part of a situation where there were some, there was some gossip that was being spread around by, uh, by somebody, okay? Uh, let me actually show you this. We have Six of Cups falling for you. So there is some form of betrayal that is attached to a past situation okay i feel like there was a person that you dealt with who was maybe taking you for granted or running away from running away from things okay they were being a coward and with the emperor energy you're detaching taking back control um focusing on your business your money your goals okay there's also a sense of like you know when we handle something really coming from a place of emotional maturity that is what i see here with the emperor for you some of you really own a business or something too magician hmm. you're focused on manifesting good stuff for yourself you're, you're believing in yourself you know that i'm capable of this and you're going after it which is good um let's see <clears throat> 
What's the what's the Queen of Swords? What's the Queen of Swords, please? What's the Queen of Swords, please? You're just like disinterested in somebody. There could be an offer in love coming your way, but you're like, okay, now why why is this person coming in when I don't even need them or want them? You're discontent with something. And I feel like you have waited enough for somebody. It's not like you're you're detaching yourself because it's like, okay, I just woke up and I decided that today I'm going to detach myself. I feel like you waited for things to change with this person. You waited for things to transform. And when they didn't, you decided to perhaps back off. You see. Um, yeah, let's see. What's the Five of Cups? Empress. Growth, expansion. Ooh, you have Ace of Cups, the Star. Oh my God, King of Pentacles. The Star, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. New stuff is coming in for you. New beginnings, new ventures. Um, I also feel like astrologically as well, you're being favored. I feel like you're disappointed in something emotionally, but you're also, you know, that emotional disappointment has made you realize your worth in some way. Taurus, okay? Yeah. Let's see. Tell me more for Taurus, please. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus, please? Um, King of Wands to the Three of Swords. This could be a person who has hurt you in the past. There's definitely somebody coming back around. Okay, and because of, of course, Mercury retrograde, stuff from the past does tend to resurface. Um, we will see. What's the Knight of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles? What's the Knight of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles? I feel like you are willing to open up to love, but you're not willing to open up to anybody who's just like not worth your time and energy. Some of you are really focused on getting your finances together and you have like boundaries, of course, you know, you're realizing your worth. The focus is not on love, okay? But there is love showing up for you and very well, like there could be more than one person coming your way, okay? What's the uh, Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles for Taurus's advice? Why is that here for their advice? Ace of Cups, new stuff. Oh, Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. There's something here that is going to become very clear for you. I told you, um, Taurus, look out for like things that will be revealed to you in the time to come. Because I'm really getting that this reading is a, is about things being revealed to you and um, also about new beginnings. Let me actually adjust my camera. Okay. 
let's see let's get your person's energy let's get your person's energy And of course, a more in-depth reading about your person will be linked in the description box. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves? Outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It'll be linked below for you. Six of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Um... They're thinking about catching up with you, but I feel like this is somebody who has commitment issues. There could also be more than one person involved in the situation. Okay, that's why you have to pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> um, of course, I'm going to clarify more in the extended about your person. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It'll be linked below, okay? We have cassette and marriage, outdated thinking, replaying events. For some of you, there could be marriage involved in the situation already, or you could be going to, I don't know, some sort of house party. <laughs> uh, cassette. There is somebody here who's, you know, repeatedly thinking about you. Or maybe they think about a long-term relationship with you okay love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection A lot of you in a very self-loving energy okay and it's like there's something within you that you're cherishing and that has come from trial and error of course you've you've been through something tough and i'm i'm really picking up that some of you maybe have gone through something in your childhood as well that has been tough for you okay Let's see, what is the guided message for? But that experience also transformed you. It changed you. Also made you a better person. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Surrender, I can release my need to control. Let go of things, go easy. Tell me more. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. You need to let go of something. You need to accept something and let go of something. Oh my God, literally there's acceptance at the bottom of the deck. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. There's a certain level of acceptance that is required. You know, acceptance for yourself first. You know, forgiving yourself for what you did or what you could have done, things like that, okay? So that's it, Taurus. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the reading about your person linked in the description box if you're interested. As well as I'm going to be giving you bonus messages in that reading. Like what to expect, what about your finances and things like that. Okay, so do have a look. It will be linked below. Take care, Taurus. And bye-bye.